Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be working on an iPad 4 that I recently got off of eBay. I purchased it for about $40, and when I got it, I realized that the screen was coming off uh, kind of weird. So it basically wasn't adhering to the, uh, to the aluminum on the iPad, and I thought that maybe just the, the glass on it just needed to be replaced. Um, so I ended up uh, you know, removing the glass here, and uh, you get to see this process of me removing the glass and going through and uh, putting on the new glass. Now, when I did get done with this part of the repair, uh, I realized that the glass wasn't adhering on the new with the new glass either. Uh, so it actually turned out that there was an issue with the battery also. So later on in the video, uh, you get to see me change out the battery on this iPad, and uh, it turns out it definitely needed it because it was um, at 56% battery health, which is really bad. Uh, and I don't know if you can see uh, during the video, the middle cell of that battery appears to be kind of ballooning up a little bit. And uh, it definitely was giving me the hint that it was the battery. Uh, so unfortunately, I had to order a battery after I had already done the glass repair. But that's all right. I got the battery in and I wanted to go ahead and get this out, uh, get this combined for you so you could see the glass and the battery repair on this iPad 4. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy.
here is where I begin to uh, disassemble the iPad to get the battery out. So for the iPad 3 and 4, and I believe for the iPad 2 as well, uh, you have to remove the logic board from the device to uh, get to the battery. Uh, the way that this battery is, it's basically a... Uh, two contacts that are um, around one of the standoffs for the logic board and the logic board just sits on top of it and it gets power that way. So um, that's a pretty interesting way to do it. Uh, so you have a ribbon cable that is attached uh, to the uh, side of the logic board that goes to the um, goes to the front camera, goes to your sensors, goes to your uh, your button, your camera, uh, and your volume buttons. And uh, you have to take that out. And uh, then you can either apply heat uh, before prying at it. Um, but as you can see, I started prying at it. And uh, man, that adhesive is really strong. Um, so it is a very, very strong adhesive. And it will leave a lot of residue. So just be prepared to uh, have to clean for a little while. And as you can see, I had to go get to the uh get the heat gun because it was just a lot of adhesive and it was really hard to get up uh now once i did get it off here um i did go ahead and uh, work on getting the residue off and uh that battery was just bad but that was definitely the original battery and it was from 2013 so uh not surprised that it went bad uh one thing i did notice was inside the shell after i took off that battery there were there were shards of glass so i'm gonna guess that uh this this is now the third probably glass repair that this ipad has had um which is pretty crazy to think about um but yeah there were pretty large shards of glass in there and uh anyway as you can see here i'm basically just taking spudger and trying to remove it and then what i end up using is the um all-purpose cleaner and then i use uh rubbing alcohol which mostly worked. Uh, it was just a pain to get this stuff off. Um, now, in another video I have coming up, I did an iPad 3 battery, which is basically the same process. Um, and, you know, why not? But uh, it, the, the, the adhesive on these is just ridiculously hard to get off. Um, but what I wanted to do was, because of the way that the glass was not sitting uh, flush, and it wasn't adhering to the aluminum frame, I wanted to make sure that I got rid of all residue, make sure there was nothing that was keeping the battery raised above any certain level that it's supposed to be. I wanted to make sure that it was perfect, as perfect as I could get it. So that's why I focused so much attention on this. So I did get it really nice and clean. And uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of this. Um, and in the end, uh, you do get to see me remove residue from the back of the iPad, which I did have a sticker when I purchased it. It came with a sticker on the back, so I wanted to go ahead and get that off. And let me tell you, rubbing alcohol is great, or the uh, ice rub alcohol is great for getting uh, residue off from stickers. Let me tell you, it is great. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'll let you guys finish the video.
And here is the final product, a brand new glass screen and a brand new battery for this iPad 4 and a nice clean back. So no more sticker residue. And uh, I think that it came out pretty nice. Uh, it's not perfect, but um, definitely has brought some life back to this old iPad. Uh, so hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please feel free to give me a like. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.